Hello there, in this series we will be starting module 1 of Digital Electronics and Computer Organization. In module 1, the main focus is on the digital electronics part. We will be discussing logic gates and different types of logic circuits and how they work, different functions and so on. So let's continue. First of all, we have our logic gates. The basic logic gates are AND gate, OR gate and OR gate. Okay. Universal gates are NAND and OR. We will be going through quickly uh, because these topics are basics. We will be focusing on uh, large topics. This is just the prerequisite that you need to know for studying digital electronics and computer organization. So these are the functions basically for all the logic gates, okay, or most of them at least. AND gate, OR gate, XOR, NAND, NOR, and XNOR. These six are important. Inverter OR, also known as NOT gate, is also a basic gate and it's important. So you can see the outputs and you need to learn these outputs. These are going to help you in designing combinational circuits later on. Simplifying logic circuits is basically a topic where you understand that excessive gates from a certain subject, uh, circuit can be removed and simplified. So instead of having the AND, NOT, uh, XOR and gate, okay, instead of having four, we can just have two gates. And this can be done on the basis of uh, understanding the uh, inputs and what the outputs are respectively and then you can decide which gate can be used for this there are two methods fine first is the algebraic method where you use boolean algebra to solve it second is k-mapping fine for short I'm not gonna pronounce this word for short k-mapping fine the first is boolean algebra there are many identities the important one is de Morgan's law you need to know de Morgan's law for solving uh, further questions they it helps a lot Okay, and other than De Morgan's, the distributive law is also important. These two laws need to be learned. These are some examples of how we simplify Boolean algebra. So if Z is an equation with variables A, B, and C, okay, our first term has A, B not, C not, okay. So A, the value of A is one, B and C are zero. Then we have plus, okay. A, B not C and plus A, B, C. So the expression is supposed to be solved this way. Okay. And I'm not taking this part. K maps. To solve K maps, we use two, three or four variables. Basic is two variables where we have one variable on the columns and the other on the rows. Fine. If it's a two variable K map, it's going to have two by two. That will be a four block K map. The cells are represented as as follows 0, 1, and 0, 1. Fine. The number one rule in a K map is that all values have to be incremented in only values of 1, which is why we will see how the K map is made. If we have three variables, okay, so if we can put AB on top and C in the rows, fine. So the first row will be 0, C is 0, and the second row is where C is 1. In the columns, we'll have A, B, so A, 0, B, 0, A, 0, B, 1, A, 1, B, 1, and A, 1, B, 0. So you see this part, fine. Since we say we can only have a change of one variable, fine. So over here, 0, 0 was changed to 1, B became 1, okay. Now here, if we make 1, 0 as the binary logic states, if we take 1, 0, that would be an increase of two steps because b is also being changed and a is also changing so what we are going to do is we are going to keep b constant and we are going to change only a okay so this is how k map is made so we will have 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 okay and each of these boxes represents the abc expression as follows uh, so if c 0 in the first box we have c 0 a 0 and b 0 so this is a b a not b not c where all three are 0 fine in the seventh box we have all three as one because we have c1 we have a1 and we have b1 okay so this is how we can fill the k map now again in a four variable k map again 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 since it's the four variable we have two variables on top and two variables on the side okay the same rule that is applied to the top is applied on the side which is why the numbering is also done in the following way first block is zero second is one third becomes three and fourth becomes two 
okay instead of being 0 1 2 3 since we've interchanged the two variables it's going to be 0 1 3 and 2 right similar uh, similarly we have uh, 0 1 3 2 okay and then the next one starts here 4 5 7 6 same thing applies okay and over here now you can see the difference we we went first row sorry first column and then the second column the third column is going to be at the end and then we're going to go fourth column just because of the same reason fine the numbering over here is done column wise you can also do it row wise so it would become 0 1 3 2 okay 4 5 7 6 and and then we'll start on here 8 9 11 10 and 12 13 15 14 so this is going to be changed a transpose of this map so to understand how k maps work if a function is given x where a naught bc plus a b naught c plus a b c naught plus a b c okay so each unit of the each part of the expression is the values for a b c a b and c where x is one okay so first we're going to make the table since this is three variables you can see in each in the expression we have a b and c only three variables repeating again and again so it's going to be a three variable k map the first variable we can put uh, as rows and a and b c becomes columns we're going to number them we're going to fill one in every space for these so you can count from the expression we have one two three four four ones in this k map a not b c that means a zero and b and c are one so we have a0 in the first row, b and c as 1 in the third. So we're going to put a 1 over here. Then we have a, b not c. So a is 1, b is 0, and b is 0 in these two, and c is 1. So it's going to be this one for the second term. a, b, c not, that means a and b are 1. So 1 and then either two of these 1, 1. Okay, but c is 0 over here. So we're going to go for the last one. And finally a, b, c, all three 1 is in this point. A K map is used for grouping up okay the numbers so we have ones okay so we're gonna make groups of ones the rule for making the groups is that the group cannot be group the group can only be in powers of two okay so it can either be two power one that means only two two variables group or a four variable group okay or so on the expression from the K map we get is the simplified expression okay how do we derive this expression well you're going to take the common bit so you see the first loop where we have one and one so this first loop a is constant right a is constant for these two and then if we look in 0 1 and 1 1 the second bit is constant that means a c is constant right a is constant from here and c is constant from here b c c is constant b is changing 0 and 1 but c is constant so we have a and c as the constant terms that makes up the first term plus okay this is oring plus means or b and c how do we get that in this group we can see a is changing one value is zero and the other value is one so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this one since we have only one column that means the value of the column is same so the two variables b and c are same hence the term b and c plus a and b again for this group we have a as same and b is similar c is changing so we have the group a and b and hence we get the simplified expression now k map has another option of don't care the don't care is marked as an x in the expression it is given these values are the normal expression values okay so these are the positions okay one three five seven nine are the positions where we have a one in the k map so we're going to number the k map and then at those positions we're going to put ones and the don't care conditions are given as follows 6 30 uh, 6 12 and 13 so at 12 13 and at 6 we're going to put crosses okay don't care what happens is when we're making sets okay as i said sets are in powers of 2 so we have 4 over here and we have another set of 4 over here a don't care helps you in increasing the size of a set so if you are able to make a bigger size okay a bigger set then don't care can be used okay but for example in this point or in this point it does not help you making in making any uh, group of the power of 2 okay so it's going to be ignored fine so don't care can be treated as 0 or 1 so if it helps in making the group bigger it's a 0 else it's a 1 sorry if it helps me in making the group bigger it's a 1 or otherwise it becomes a 0 
So the each function can be represented in three ways: truth table, Boolean expression, or schematics.